Hey everyone, it's Nina. So I am updating my branding in different places. This is an Entreport landing page. And a couple of things that are on here are icons, different images. And as I was going through and starting to update them, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to teach you how to create your own icons in Canva. So I'm gonna show you really quick how to do this. It's not gonna be a long detailed video, but I'm in Canva and I'm gonna go ahead and it doesn't really matter what size, but I would start with something that's maybe, let's say 500 by 500. So I'm gonna go down to custom. So I'm gonna put in 500 by 500. We just want an even square. You could have also used the Instagram post size because that's a square. So we don't need any of these templates. We're simply looking under the elements for icons. So these are ones I recently used. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't watched my video on how to set up your Canva Pro or how to navigate it, I would suggest you do that first because I'm going to start using some features today, including the styles that we set up. And that video will teach you how to do that. Anyways, so I'm in the elements. And so the first one I did is I just looked for computer. Okay. Now what's great about this is I know that I need um, a fairly small icon. So instead of using photographs, I'm gonna use graphics. I don't want anything animated either. So I can find one. One of the things I wanna do is use multiple brand colors. So I'm looking for something that when I click on it, I also see colors at the top. Okay, and I'll explain why in detail later but basically we want to be able to change the colors you know short and sweet okay what i love is that they also have magic recommendations so i can click on see all what this does is make sure that the style i have over here matches right this one i don't know where this came from but whatever um it doesn't seem like it matches this style but what's great is all i have to do is go in here click it and i just want it to be in the center, so I'm waiting for that line. See that little line there? And then you may wanna just make sure it's in the, I know it's in the center here, but you just wanna make sure that you see that line. So that means it's in the center. Usually there's a line this way too, but I have it expanded. Just a quick tip, if you see two arrows like this, that means you're resizing. If you see four arrows, and it's a little bit different in here, so let's see if I can get it. Um, in other some areas, you'll see four arrows and that means you're moving it or it will stay like this. There you go. There goes the four arrows. Okay. Anyways, for the background, you just want to make sure you don't have a color, but it doesn't matter because we're going to actually make it transparent. But I'm going to delete this. It's just something that I do to make sure and to see how it looks. So if I want to add text or anything, I can do that. But remember, you want to keep it simple because it's going to be really tiny. But I'm going to click on styles and very simple. I'm going to click on my style and it's going to shuffle through different combinations of my brand colors. So I have primary brand colors and I have backups or whatever. But you keep in mind that's going to be small. So you want it to kind of stand out. Again, I'm going to go back and delete the background. This is just a habit because I wanna see how it's gonna look, okay? So that's basically your icon. When you download it, you're gonna download it as a PNG. That's what's gonna allow you to have a transparent background. PNG, transparent background. And then just download it and you have your icon, okay? And you can make this smaller or whatever, but I'm gonna leave it like that. What you wanna do though, is as I'm creating this, I need two other ones. So I'm gonna go back to elements, and since I'm clicked on air, it should show, and we're already in it, magic recommendations. And so I need an email one. It doesn't look like they really have email, they have fax. But let's just use, I'll use a mouse, okay? What's great is, again, it has these colors. Now, if I click on, I think it's this one. This one doesn't have the colors at the top, so I won't be able to change the style. So if I click on style and change it, Notice the mouse changes, but not this. This is not set up in the layers that allow you to change each of the images. So I'm just gonna go back and basically just pick the ones I want. And each one, if you wanna save each of them to edit later, I would add another page and then do it. But for me, I do this all the time. I know I'm not gonna really need to do these over and over again or do any edits. 
So, and they're easy enough to find. So I just download them and I don't really save this at the end. Okay. And then the next one is going to be whatever other icon. And so that's it. And then you just upload it and you can replace this. Now, if you're going to be using Entreport, Entreport is for landing pages and things like that, processing payments and subscriptions and just everything. My membership's in there. I do have a training absolutely free to you. I'll include the link below so you can learn how to use Entreport. I build all of these pages on them. But if you want to learn how to build a brand, create consistent content and how software like this works, head over to brandmarketingsquad.com. This landing page, by the way, was made in Entreport. But I teach you all of those things, like anything from how to build a brand, how to create your own logos and pick your colors and figure out who your clients are, how to create digital marketing strategies, content creation strategies, how to start a YouTube channel. And we have tons of master classes. So just head over to brandmarketingsquad.com and I'd love to see you in the membership or the squad. Ciao.